Of course, one of the reasons people are filming on 4K at the moment is not necessarily to make a 4K video. They're filming on 4K, but they're actually editing at HD. Now, why would you do that? So I'm going to change my project to HD. I'm going to use a 25p project. And I'm going to take this particular clip here and whack it on the timeline. Now, for a start, it's a handheld shot. It's a bit wobbly. It'd be nice to stabilize it. So I'm going to take the stabilizer, drop it onto the clip, open it up, whack all the sliders up to the top. If you use the Edia stabilizer effect, you'll know that it analyzes anything first in the background. You can see it's analyzing it there. And once the analysis is done, it'll be ready to stabilize it. Now, if you remember, this footage is 4K. This clip itself is nine seconds long, and it must have taken, what, 30 seconds tops to have analyzed that clip. So it's a 4K clip analyzed in 30 seconds. And I've got a much more stable clip. Now, to achieve that, the stabilizer has to zoom in, just like every stabilizer. What it does, it'll look at the clip, and if the clip is jerked to the right, it'll move it to the left. That'll leave black borders around there unless it zooms in. Now it's done that, it's done it automatically. If I set a before and after by clicking this little icon down here and set that playing, and you can see how wobbly it was. So this is the before and this is the after. But what you'll notice is that the zoomed in stuff, because I'm on an HD timeline and my footage was bigger than HD in the first place, even though I zoomed into it a bit, it still looks as good as HD. And that's the one advantages of using 4K. You can zoom into it, you can selectively crop it, you can reframe it, and the image quality still doesn't drop. It still looks as good as HD would have done. Let's just take the same thing. And what I'm going to do is take it, make a copy. My favorite way of making a copy in Edis is to grab the clip, drag it. As I'm dragging it, hold down the control key, let go, and now I've got a copy of the clip. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make up a fake pan where I move from the bottom up to the Eiffel Tower. And I'm going to use that using the layouter. So select the clip, open the layouter, go to the presets and click on original size. So now what it's showing me is that's the whole 4K clip and I'm just using a quarter of it because a quarter of this clip is the size of HD. Like I said, UHD is four times the size of HD. So I can zoom into a quarter of the image and I still get an HD quality image. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, let's start it there, turn on keyframing, put in a point at the start, move along a bit, and let's do a pan up to the Eiffel Tower and play it back. And there it goes. I've got a nice pan up to the Eiffel Tower. But the quality of the image is basically as it would have been if I'd done it in HD, but I've selectively zoomed into it. And that's one of the advantages you're going to get a 4K footage is you can stabilize it and the quality isn't going to drop. You can reframe it and do a close up. You can do a zoom on it or a pan on it and you'd still have a decent quality image at the end of it because my original is four times the size of the project that I'm actually making. OK, final thing worth mentioning, I'm just going to pop back to the old picture in picture effect we did a minute ago and I'm going to start playing it. Now, this is a picture in picture effect my laptop couldn't play back because it was a 4K project with a couple of 4K images, one on top of each other. And you can see in the HD project, it's actually playing it back better. That's because it's actually having to do less effects work. Although well, the originals are both 4K, the final image is not 4K, so it's doing slightly less work, so it can play back slightly more effects if you're using 4K clips in an HD project than if you're using 4K clips in a 4K project. Anyway, I hope that's explained a few of the basics of editing and using 4K footage inside of Edius. Obviously, if you've got any questions or you want to know more about our systems, then give us a ring on 01273 or email us sales at dvc.uk.com.